Today I'll be showing you how to get Counter-Strike Source textures for Gary's mod. To prove that I don't have it, I'm going to load a map that requires the textures. Commonly known as dolls. Alright, here's the map. You can tell that I don't have the textures as due to the air signs and the purple and black checkerboard airs. Alright, let's get this fixed. What you're going to need to do is go to a site called CS Cheater. Um, I will provide a link or you can Google it. You want to go over to Gary's content, scroll down, and you want to get Counter-Strike Source. You see how it says game content and maps? You want to get both. This is the files for the game, and then these are the map files. You want both because sometimes servers do use Counter-Strike maps, and then other times they don't, but it's safer to get both. Now you're going to be presented with screens like this, an ad fly. This is an ad. Do not use this. Click Skip Ad, and then you have to click here to continue. And then wait for this to load again. It's going to give you an ad here. Don't click that. Wait for the please wait. And then just click skip ad. Now you're going to be presented with a screen similar to this. This is the majority of the content you're going to be downloading. This is the actual uh, files. Do not click download with Megasync. You want to click download through your browser. Same with here. Do not click that. Just download through your browser. It's a safer way. And I will be back once it's finished downloading. Now you should have the files downloaded. You should have two of them. Um, they should be in a .zip. Or if you don't see the .zip, that's fine. But they should be a file type as a compressed zip folder. You want to take them. And uh, either copy and paste them over into your add-ons folder on Gary's Mod. Or you can do what I'm going to do, which is a lot simpler and easier for you. You want to go and find your Gary's Mod folder wherever it is saved on your computer go into Gary's mod again then go into add-ons go back over to your other files that we just downloaded open them up and they'll enter the compressed file and then you want to take and just drag and drop it into your add-ons folder you want to do the same for the maps The first one's going to take quite a while considering there's about more than 18,000 files inside the one compressed folder. Then the other one only has around 12 maps or so, and it's significantly smaller. Don't worry if uh, you did not see what I just did or if it did not work for you as extracting them. I'm going to show you another way on how to do it after the video is over. Alright, they're about done extracting. To make sure that you have the files successfully extracted into the add-ons folder correctly, go into one of the folders that we just put in there. And make sure immediately after you open it, is, uh, there's a file that says addon.txt. If there's not there, you've done something wrong and you want to make sure that they look just like mine. It's going to take a while for your computer to extract the main file, considering there's quite a bit in there. But now that we have the those in there, we want to reopen Gary's mod. And I'll go into the same map as before to demonstrate that we have now gotten the textures. As you can see, we now have the texture. Sorry for the game sound, it's quite loud. Um, this is a way to freely get the textures for Gary's Mod from CS Source. I, this is purely an educational video. I do own Counter-Strike Source, but I just reinstalled my computer, so I figured I might as well show you guys how to do this before I install all my own custom programs and everything. But stick around for the end of the video to see how a different way to extract the files if the uh, way I showed you before did not work. Alright, so if you're still watching, that means that the extraction process did not work for you in the first one. So let's go to Google. And we're going to want to get a program called 7-Zip. It's a free program and it's trustworthy. I'm going to put Portable in there as well so we can... Um, because I've used this site before, I'm, a lot of people use this site, it's a trusted site, and it makes it so when you download the file, it doesn't actually install it, it only does like a run as type of thing. So I'll push download now from SourceForge. 
let it load and uh, just wait for the download to automatically start. It's going to promote like, yeah, see how it says start download? That's not safe, that's an ad. Just let this go through and I'll prompt it. Right there it is. All right, it's downloaded. You want to open it. Now it's going to ask you for the language, English, next. Sure, that looks good and install. Then you want to run it. All right, now you're going to want to find now you're going to want to find where it uh where you have your folders. It automatically found it for me, which is quite nice. The screen's kind of glitching out because of how I have my uh how I have my push to talk key set. So, you want to go to 7zip, find where you have the files, and then simply you want to take the screen, flip it to the right, go to your Gary's Mod folder, go into Gary's Mod again, add-ons just like I did before. Now you want to enter the um, you want to enter the folder, well, the zip file. And now that you're in there, you want to go back to your add-ons folder and just drag and drop it into your add-ons folder from 7zip. We're going to have to do the same thing with both of the with both of the uh, zip files. As you can see, this way is significantly faster. But it all is dependent upon your computer, and especially your drive, if it's a hard drive or an SSD, or if it's a cheaper hard drive, so it's slower speeds. Now we're going to do the same thing with the uh, other one. You want to go up, go into Maps, and then drag and drop it into add-ons. Alright, now to make sure that they were installed correctly, you want to open them up, and yep, it says add-on.txt. Same with this one, they want to look similar to this, and then once it's in there, you can just exit out of 7-zip, we no longer need it. And then just, you're off, you're on your way. I can load up Gary's Mod just to show you to make sure. Going to go into a map that has the textures from CS Source needed. And you're good to go. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, this helps people that had problems before with my last video. Have a good one, guys.